back to Big Name Bitches. You look where gorgeous. We get to be absolute bitches. Thank you. You look gorgeous. First of all, I just want to note that we don't call ourselves bitches in the sense that we are mean. <laughs> right, we're more batches, batches. Actually, my sisters are both so old that when I told them the name of the show, they were just like, you know, so old that they were almost offended. And I was like, no, bitch, bitch means good now. It's, yes. it's a good meaning. Yes. I was like, you know, bitch. So I started calling my sisters bitch and they're just, they're, it's not sinking in. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm like, hey, bitch, what's going on, bitch? So like, yeah, we don't do that. You're, wow. Just, yeah. But isn't that fascinating that there's, that there's, yeah, that's a that we're old. <laughs> well, no, we're old, but there's older folks that w- oh, yeah. would be a little offended by our use of the word bitches. Exactly. I th- it's like if you don't add that a, or you know, I mean, I all my friends, all my fabulous gay friends. I mean, yeah. we all call each other that, but my sisters were just not having it. Bitch is just like, hey, girl. I know, I know, hey, I know. Yeah, just yeah. Like we have to go with the times. I had a friend, a really good friend, Pedro, still my very good friend, and he would always call me slut and hooker, mm-hmm. and that was offensive. Yeah, hey, you slut. Hey, hooker. Hey, hooker. Yeah. I, I love that I'm always adding a lisp when I say it. It just feels better. <laughs> hey, bitch. <laughs> hey, you slut. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hey, look at this. Yes. Oh, <gasps> what's this? Okay, so we're drinking our cocktail. Well, tell us about this cocktail. Excuse me, excuse me, mocktail, because yes. I'm an alcoholic. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Cheers, me too. Don't worry, I'm not drinking. <laughs> okay. Ex Disney Girls, Yay. now alcoholic podcast. Yes. Hosts. I love people and bitches. People get real scared when you say alcoholic. They do. It's like, huh? um, I'm an alcoholic. That's what I am. There's no shame in it. It's yeah. okay. Yeah. If you're an alcoholic, you're an alcoholic forever. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Oh, shit. You know, I, I, I'm realizing, though, that you really might not like these mocktails that taste really alcoholic y. Okay. So, I'm going to get better at making ones that don't taste like it, yes. but taste better. So this is going to taste like trash. Okay, so cheers. This, I love cheers you. Cheers to trash okay. and to why we don't drink anymore. If you're not watching us right, they, we're, they're in the cutest little, um, what do you call these? Um, tumblers. Tumblers. A tumbler. The very <laughs> 60s seeming, right? Yeah, and very much. Our drink is what? What is this? It's a shot I'm, of. It is Apertifo, non-alcoholic Apertifo. Okay. I forget the brand, but then I, we had to float it with some pomplemousse. Mm-hmm. Our guest was like, oh, let's float it with this. And- pomplemousse. Now, who's heard of pomplemousse before? I learned about pomplemousse today. It's not a moose. has nothing to do with pimples. I think it's a grapefruit. I, I don't know. Right? It's a grapefruit. Do you know that I'm leaning into this mic? Do Wait, I even need to do like this? You're, you're doing something nefarious. <laughs> I don't know why. With, with your nefarious. Mic. Quit saying these big words, Christy. You you're making me I mean. seem so dumb. You know People are going to find out what an idiot I am. Stop it. You're, the, you're a queen and a unicorn, and I love you very much. Cheers to queens and unicorns. Yeah, okay. Okay, let's so, sip it. And there's a lemon thing in it, too. Mm. Ooh, I like this one. Wait, it's not bad. It's very refreshing. It almost has a cinnamon quality. I want to thank our, our amazing, mm. beautiful... It tastes like alcohol. I'm telling you, I feel like I'm getting wasted. Wow, it's really good. I really have to thank our guest. Mm. Um, and she has the best taste. I love her so much. I'm, I'm, I have a, a big uh, TikTok crush on her. Yes, you do. Or a social crush. Me too now. It's so great. Like, I know a lot of people want to hate on social media, but there's so many good things that can come from it, especially when you're on the creator side, Mm -hmm. because you can network and you can meet people who are just fun. And I've not yet had a negative experience. So let's let's see if Amanda McCants holds up to the awesome babe that I think she is. Oh, I I, it's it's more Amanda McCants. Amanda McCants can. Yeah. Right. McCants. Yes. You get it. That that was a pun. I think that was a pun. It's because we're drinking. (laughs) Oh, God, I'm so drunk. (laughs) Mm. (laughs) Mm. Oh, my God. Cheers. Cheers Cheers. to Amanda McCants. McCants. And Palm Pomp- 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 Sorry, I'm not on my mic. Pomp- <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. You you're look here. gorgeous. L- really, like you're about, you just stepped off of a boat. Like I'm you just got married. I'm giving a rich man's boat. For sure. Yes. So my you're giving thing, like wedding sexy vibes. stepmom. And I do think that's the vibes I give off. Yeah. Like I am a sexy stepmom. Mm. Sure. But my new kind of like, I'm changing my style. I don't know what happened on Saturday. <laughs> I woke up and I was like, I'm not dressing like a girl. I'm dressing like a woman. Ooh, today. And so it's kind of a big day. I'm happy yeah. for you. Thank you. I'm finally a woman. You are. I mean, those nips are proven it, right? The, oh, yeah. The no bra nips. Ready to melt. I milk. say, oh, yeah. <laughs> woman me. May I ask you a question? Yeah. This is just, you know, you don't have to answer this. I'll answer anything. Are you, what are you, a B cup? I would say I'm like, my boobs are wide. They're so great. I would say I'm like a D. Oh, absolutely. Wow. The fact that you said B, I'm like, what? They're Do you know wide. your letters? Are you like trying to know? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they're great. Like it's a D, bitch. Those are a, a solid D. D. No, because they're wide. 
But guys love that because they that's they like, do. Yeah. I I've gotten compliments on my boobs for as long as I can remember. My face wasn't great when I was young. <laughs> like I'm gonna be honest, it wasn't. <laughs> oh wait, what? And I'm okay saying we're gonna that. Be Goog- we're gonna be googling. But I way. had the best body. Like even my sister, she's like, you were such a butterface, and now I feel oh, like no, I figured it out. Just talking about <laughs> that. That? Everything butterface. Oh God, yeah. butterface. I feel like was. Are you millennial? I'm on the cusp. Okay. I'm a strong like millennial Gen Zer, but I do relate more with the millennial. Yes, I feel that. Like a sexy stepmom is so millen. <laughs> like I can't. <laughs> you keep it's, saying that. I'm. Are you? You're not a parent. No. 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 But not, stepmom. Not stepmom. That exactly. Knows. Not that I know of. <laughs> exactly. I could be pregnant right now. Right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> For you, Mazel Tov. Hell That's yeah. That's why we have Shabbat Shalom. I'm not Jewish, so I can't say Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat 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 Shalom. You're welcome. Wow. Yes. A Broadway performance. Now, just- I know you're not Jewish, but I think, did you? Schultz, just because you've said it in your videos, you got a nose job? What? Totally. You <gasps> know, it, it doesn't look like it. It's you know, still it's large so- and in charge. No, no, no. Stop. I don't mean like that. We got to talk well, about nose Well, when you jobs. said it on those videos, I think yeah. I thought, is she just mess- messing around, joking? No. I got to ask her. It's perfect. Your Thank nose you. is perfect. There are so many bad, bo- you know, botched. Jobs, nose Thank jobs. You. Yeah. Well, You're both of us have nose job envy because both of us thought we wanted to get one. At one didn't point. and wish Why we had. Why didn't you? Because we're stupid. I was scared. I was scared about my singing. Me and, too. and that's gone to waste. Yeah. Nobody cares about that. Uh, so no, I, I just heard it. Singing. I just heard a beautiful Jewish song. <laughs> <laughs> and I, uh, <laughs> it's not been wasted. Papa, can you hear me? Just kidding. Yeah. I'm just singing wow. all the Jewish songs. Um, no, but I, 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 I know <laughs> it sounds crazy. That. You know when you can tell someone's had a nose job, though? Like, oh, well, yeah. It's got that little you box. You can't stop staring. You can't. Re- well, especially you Especially with guys. Lately, oh, my God. Oh, my God. I dated a guy that had a nose job. And would he shut he up about it He was a dick. No? He was the worst person on the planet. A guy yeah. with a nose job is not okay. It's not. It That means they put like, no, a no, lot no, like into electively a nose job. Not because he got punched in the face in a no. bar fight. Like, that's totally. hot. Like, that's, that's my hot. husband. That's my husband. He has a deviated septum and he's got to get Because he got punched in a Because he was a Marine fight? and he got like a bottle to the face. It's like, I'm into hot. that. But... It's very Jax. Jax from Vanderpump Rules. <laughs> oh. Jax got a nose job. Do you remember I that? I legitimately think there's alcohol Yeah, but in it's this. so Jax. <laughs> that is such a good call. It's so Jax like, you know, like that Wait, Jax. who's yes. Jax? Oh. The bigger guy, he got kicked off. Oh, but he he's like OG, OG. Yes, yeah. OG. He used Vanderpump. to date Saucy. Yes. He's oh, coming yeah. back on the show. Yeah. Oh, he is. She yeah, and he's with Brittany things. now. And you with, know a lot yeah. of the things. We do. I do. I do. You know a lot about selling Sunset, of course. I know a lot about anything that's dumb, <laughs> tacky, and like lit really well, I know about. Okay. Yeah, so this show right here. So this show right here. here. <laughs> it's so interesting though, because your videos are anything but that. You're all, you're making fun of what we all notice, why we hate Thank these people. You. You're bringing out the parts of them that we hate the most, but with such a funny, creative, well-written spin on it, a really <laughs> wise Funny spin on How it. How do you Thank write you. Your, your stuff? It's, it's so actually good. mostly improv. No, I don't believe you. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah, unless I'm doing, like I did a Mykonos and South of France video last I year. I saw those. And I've never been to Europe. So those I had to like help write. But the Selling Sunset, all the Aquarius stuff, like that's all improv. Mm-hmm. Wow. So it keeps me like on my toes. And I've been doing improv since I was like 10. Okay. Interesting. And I grew up watching Real Housewives. Like Bravo was the only thing on in my house. Mm-hmm. And that wasn't written. And so I was just like, I want to do that and I want to make it funny. And that's what I did. That's exactly what you're doing. I love it. I grew up with all those shows too. I I loved reality. I feel like before anybody loved reality. Totally. There's such like a beautiful art to it. And like the way these women, like the way they just have such a different reality than everybody else, but they really believe in it. Oh, they Mm -hmm. definitely believe in it. That was something where I was like, that's art and that's so good. It's and I so just like good. attached to it. It's amazing that you could be that rich, go on that many fabulous trips and still not be able to have fun. Ooh, That's what don't. I think is crazy. But you know what? I've kind of experienced that in the last year, not being that rich. Okay, not hey, that. This is a privilege. How rich are you? This is a privilege. How rich are you? How much money so is in your bank account? I'm so not having fun. <laughs> All the creator fun. <laughs> but I've been in like the most beautiful, like some pretty places. Mykonos. And when I say the most beautiful places, I just mean a beach in Miami. And of <laughs> course, beautiful. like, you know, I've been, working like minimum wage jobs for my whole life. And now the past couple of years, I've been able to experience different things. And yes. I'm like, oh, you can still be sad with a drink in your hand exactly. and like hot friends. And like hurt you, Amanda? And do I have to kill them? Everybody. No, I will kill everybody for you. What's, what the, what's the number one rule? I'm going to put you on the spot. Yeah. Of improv. 
Yes, and. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes, and. Yeah. Yes, and. Yes, Did and. you ever go to the Groundlings? Or, um, yes. yes. I, w- I started at Second City when no. I was young. Oh, she's so legit. Second City is a, is in Chicago, and it's an improv troupe. It's where a lot of the SNL alum stem from. That is so cool. Tell Thank us about you. that. Thank you. I mean, I was so bad at everything in school. I was failing. Like, even since I was in, like, first, second grade, school was so hard. Mm-hmm. And so my mom was just like, you have to figure out like another way. She's like, I know my child isn't dumb. We just have to find what she loves. (laughs) Even though like I was acting dumb as hell. And so then she brought me to Second City. I grew up in Moore Park, like 45 minutes outside of LA. So they were able to drive me into the city. Uh I mean, it's like, yeah, it's so suburban. I I know it well. And so she drove me into the city. And I remember being in my first Second City class and like doing my first performance. I was like, oh my God, I found something that clicks with me. It was the first time like I'd ever felt real love and mm. passion. For oh, something. I love that. So cool. Yeah, that. it was. Arts is so important. And you teach kids too. I mean, like it's. Yes, I heard about that. Yes. If you, if you see. I don't want to talk about it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> if you see she kid, did not yes and to that one. <laughs> that was a yes no. and no. Fuck you. Yes and no. No, but like I would imagine if you see a kid like come to life of course. in the arts, it's got to be one of the most rewarding things. Yes, I, I was just listening to Jane Fonda speak about taking Lee Strasberg's class for the first time ever. And when Lee Strasberg said to her, um, you're an actor, you have real talent. It was like somebody opened her head and birds flew out. And I thought, well, that's such a good analogy. Like, I yeah. can imagine that just feeling free. Free. You know? Free, wow. free, free. And that's so wonderful. That. You are so good. What would be, uh, maybe it's too early for this question, but, I, you know, on your Instagram. I asked her about her b- breast size. Yeah, There's let's no talk about any, yeah, <laughs> anything. Okay, what's, what's your vagina size? I would say, I've been told it's like, a, I would say it's a small. It's a small. <laughs> I've been told it's a small. Oh, you've I been told. I would say I'm a medium. Yeah. Um, I'm like a two, four, two slash Yeah, four. what are you, got? what's your vagina size? Uh, I would say, uh, well, I, um, okay, so well, I, somebody should start sizing vaginas. Why had they, had they not thought of that? I know yeah. what, they've tried to like put us down in every other way and make us compare and, yeah, but and feel competitive. No one sizes vaginas. vaginas. Well, how big is your vagina? Well, mine's bigger. It's also they like, do have vaginal rejuvenation. Yes, totally. Are I'm you saying no? No, no. I'm not saying point. I don't need it. Um, Ooh, I and no like shame. Do. I don't. No need shame. It. No, 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 no. I don't need what it. What is that though? Really? Have you ever done anything like that? Have you ever had a colon? Colonopy? I've had, I'll tell you right now, like I feel like the amount I talk about my vagina is a lot. Mm -hmm. I've had everything happen to my vagina, like truthfully. Like I'm just a vagina expert. Really? Oh my God, like what? It's like a see, like I'm gonna write a book one day about me and my vagina. Oh my gosh. My vagina and I? Oh, I like that. I do like the title of that. Yeah, actually, I think that slaps harder. Hey, vagina, it's, it's different. me, Amanda. It's like that, like that Chelsea Handler one. Yeah, hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you there, uh, God? It's me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. My tiny hole. Yeah, I, you know, <laughs> my extra small. <laughs> what have you? What? Tell me about the things that have gone on. I mean, if, if in your vagina. I'll, I'll, I'll start. I'll start us off. I had t- toxic shock syndrome. Oh my God! No, really? you are like a unicorn. I've You're never, a Wikipedia. I've never. Baby. Not, I, I never heard of. I know. I, that's when you made me so think about it. Had, yeah, tell you know, us everything. So it's because you leave your tampon on, to, tampon in too long. I'm sure that's not the case. No, it's being allergic. So the very first time I put a tampon on, I was really young. I think it was like 12. Oh. I was doing um, a show. I was doing um, Grease. <clears throat> and I literally went into shock. I stopped breathing. I went into no. shock. I had a male doctor. He said he didn't know what it was. He didn't know what it was. Then finally a female doctor came in, said to my mom, is she on her period? My mom said yes. And she goes, because we think it might be toxic shock. My mom spread my legs open ripped that thing out of me and I um I I survived. I mean truly I almost Holy died. Shit. You have like a twenty percent chance of living. Anyway, no. this is an amazing story. This is a very dark Wait, story so and it's, it's not amazing. funny at all. And the people need to know about <laughs> it. Toxic shock, yes, I was allergic. So now I use and yeah, I'm on birth control so I barely get anything now, but um I use instead or the ring. Oh, I tried the okay. ring. Yes, the ring was yes. really hard for me. I got a lot of easy. Is that like the diva cup? Yes. That's okay. that's what it is, yes. Wow, that's, I mean, at 12 years old. What are you going to do? Like, to not be able to use a tampon. It's already that's so. Terrifying. I couldn't use a tampon for until I was, like, 17. or so. It just, what I was too I, I know. I think because I was doing a lot of um, dancing and a lot of shows. Totally. And you I, guys and were, like, on set. Yeah, I needed to p- I put it in. And I put yeah. it in, and it was like, nope. I went into shock pretty quickly. And I stopped breathing. Isn't that crazy? Anyway, who cares? Enough no, about me. I, Wait, I want to know enough about my vagina. I want to know about your vagina. Yeah. <laughs> like, working. Grease lightning. 
The Grease Yeah, Lightning. talk about Grease Lightning. I know, and I think my mother was so crazy. She said, well, you're still doing the show. I think she still made me finish that <laughs> show. No yes. way. It's your mom she said, we'll go, mom. We'll go. <laughs> we'll go. Yeah. Yeah. I never got into that. Is she kind of a stage mom? Like my she, mom? Well, my, my mother. the biggest stage mom. Wait, I know. really? Well, I we talk, you talked She's about nuts. that. My mother her. was, but she was always good about pretending like she wasn't. I like, love it. You know, right. the other mothers would never know. She never went inside to the rehearsals or anything. What about your mom? I know you're really close with your sister. You do so much work with your sister. What's that like? And I'm really, really close with my mom. Like we are so such a tribe, oh. like it's amazing. Um, and my mom would always bring me to auditions and stuff, but she was never a stage mom. She just wanted me to be happy, oh. knew I was awful in school. And so was just like, you know, and I was on a Disney commercial. I was on Disney 365. Ooh. What? I was on, yeah. So I'm like, so kind Disney, of one of you. Disney yes, kid. kind of, I'm a yeah, Disney you kid. Are. I love you that. Are. And it was like a big thing in my school. Everyone was like, oh my God, I'm on Disney Channel. Like it was a big. Thing. Why? Why was that such a? I know. I when I was in school. Well, too, it, think about it. Those were our celebrities. Like yes. you guys were our yeah, Kardashians before social in a way. media. Like before, so reality. we were allowed to watch. Yes. Yeah. Like yeah. It definitely was a different. Did time. you have the Disney Channel? Did you have cable growing up? So you watched it, obviously. Oh yeah. yeah I yeah. remember one of my earliest memories actually is I remember coming home from first grade and it was like a Friday. We got let out early and I made it home in time to watch That So Raven. <laughs> and I remember watching my first episode of That So Raven, being like, oh my god. I'm one of the cool kids. Like, I get Aww. to watch that so Raven. Aww. And I was so happy. Do you Aww. remember what episode it was? I don't, but my roommate recently, my roommate and I recently watched the Okeechobee episode. Okeechobee. Oh, I wouldn't even remember. <laughs> it's Okeechobee. when you tell Mr. Baxter he falls asleep when he's about to make something for like San Francisco, like TV or something, uh -huh, uh -huh. and you have to wake him up by saying Okeechobee, mm -hmm. and you push him down the stairs with the flat iron. Do you remember this? I don't. I'm sorry. I, I love did. that she it's doesn't so remember. Good. It was so long ago. So How do you wild. not remember? That's Because they made her wild. do crazy shit for years. Well, I just think it was, it was we were so young. It was just it's hard for me to even remember what happened this weekend. That's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> you're just like living in people's brains, and you're like, I don't remember. I <laughs> really iconic. You know what I'm, I was saying to somebody else? I, I remember um, I found the storylines in the show quite confusing because <laughs> they really were well, so much happened right she was psychic then she was here she was there it was real it was fake I really I was telling Wizards of Waverly Place I was here for, the, for David and I was like I literally was like okay my line my line my line oh I'm not in that scene I might not even have to come in on Thursday fantastic oh I'm not in that one great 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 I was really just reading my lines <laughs> so totally. I don't even know what <laughs> sometimes what the episode's about that's terrible but it's but not I it's didn't... not like it's rooted in reality right. right like all of those shows were just like and they, like whatever keeps kids entertained right there's not right. some emotional place I needed to start out and end at you know yeah. I didn't have any like character work to do totally but speaking of character work you are so funny you, oh yeah you are Thank such you. a good character actress your yeah. accents your She's imitations so are fantastic yeah. really you're Thank a wonderful you. impersonator I can't tell which one my favorite is Calabasas mom. Oh, I love that one. I, I think she's my, she was like my first character that I like really thought of and has stuck through. Like I've been playing Calabasas mom for like six years. Yes. Who, who is she? You know her? <laughs> she is a complicated <laughs> like, woman. Do you know who she is? Like is she a No, person? she's not based off one person. So I grew up in Moore Park and when in my senior year, I made friends with a lot of Calabasas kids. And it was like this totally different life and how the moms acted. Like it was just rich and lavish. For sure. But their reality was real. And so I was just like, I know how to play her. And mm -hmm. my mom is very skincare based, organic based. Um, she wants it her way and she wants it now. Mm -hmm. So it was a mix between like this luxury life this luxury life that I was seeing and my mom and okay. I just like brought them together. Yeah, I, I imagine, you know, the Kardashians or something when you say Calabasas, yeah. those women. You and know. that's <laughs> why it works so well because- like, even if you didn't know what Calabasas was, everyone has that one mom in their town that is kind of nuts and carries a Chanel bag yeah. or a fake one. Yes, you know yes, what I mean? Yes, like, yes. even if you're not privileged, it's like, she's got the Michael Kors bag. Like, it's just something. Extra. Yeah, totally, totally. Extra. Where you can relate to it. So actually, I'm really curious about how you went into, you know, having this rich improv background and then you decided, wow, TikTok. And yeah. like, I am really curious about how you started to find your voice and- was that rewarding, et cetera? Yeah, it was crazy. And I actually never saw it coming. I hated TikTok. I was so against like, I've been acting since I was like 10. So I was, I was like, what is this new thing? I was like, no, I'm still going to make it the normal way. Mm -hmm. um, because I left high school and I was like, I'm going to be an actor. So I was just figuring it out, like jumping from restaurant job to restaurant job. The pandemic hit mm -hmm. and I was in this really bad place and I had just gotten out of a really bad relationship and I had like nothing, mm -hmm. you know? And I was like, what am I gonna do? I wanna pick myself up and figure it out. Sorry, why was the relationship so bad? 
it was my first relationship where I was dealing with someone who actually had bad intentions. Mm-hmm. Ooh, fuck that guy. And yeah, or and girl. there were. I know, I was going to say. <laughs> yeah, and I was like, guy. Or they. He yeah. identified as a man. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and so I was just, I was really like bombarded by that because before that, it was all. Little like little silly things. He wasn't ready for a relationship, or like he said something mean to me at the bar. I said something mean to him at the bar. Like it was petty. Yeah. And this was something that was so groundbreaking that I was like, I learned so much, and I was like, there are actually people out there that can hurt you yeah. in various ways. Mm-hmm. And so once I got out of that, I was like, I'm never gonna be there again. I'm gonna figure out who I am. Good. And my friend, I was 21 at the time. Wow. That's, and I wish I would have learned all. That. <laughs> yeah, me too. It was. <laughs> and so my friend comes to me and he was a videographer and he's like, let's start making I YouTube videos. I want to take some photos of it. I want it. Yeah, that too. And I was like, yeah, okay. I have a small vagina. Let's get it on camera. No. I always said, I was like, my nudes would help my career. I was like, just put them out there. I, but I never took them. You never took nudes? In the last year I have. Okay. But I was so scared. I thought I was going to be, sorry, not to go off the rails. Yeah, when have I, you noticed where yeah, you are? Literally, I'm like, not to go off the rails. <laughs> um, when I was a ki- like in high school, I didn't drink. I didn't have sex. I never sent nudes because I was like, if I'm like cast on Disney tomorrow, like no. I don't want it to Meanwhile, get taken away from me. We oh, were wow. cast on Disney. Uh, and doing and doing, doing all, all and I wish I news. knew, but I was like, I don't want it oh. to be taken I away. I love that so you funny. had that wherewithal though. <laughs> yeah, I was like, this is mine. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and like, so I want to adopt her. You want to adopt a 26 year old woman with I double T? Do <laughs> I'm a lot of work. Um, so then he was just like, let's start making videos. And we did it every single week and we released a YouTube video um, every week for a year. So I think I played like, how many weeks are in a year? Uh, lots. Of you, weeks. I can't do that math. 12 months. Okay, I don't even know. Four weeks. Like 65 four times weeks? 12. Four times 12 is 48. So 48 weeks 48, in a year. That's right, 48 weeks in a year. So I played weeks. around oh my God. 48 different characters in a year and that, and seeing myself on camera and then um, we just started putting them on TikTok. And it, and it oh, worked. I see. You were one of those. Because yeah. some people were like Vine folks that went, no. but then there was, so I feel like the elite. But then let me ask you this too. There's a lot of people, I was telling Annalise about it because she's new to new to the talk. Um, <laughs> come, come, come talk the talk. Come, come join us. Talk the talk. Come join us over here. Um, is that there's like groups of folks that like meet up and do so like King Back and like- Love him. Ariel, right? And, yep. and they're Viners, right? Okay. So they're OGers mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. you can see it. Like their physical comedy is just so good. Mm-hmm. Their cuts like, are so surgical. So uh, good. So that's what it is. It's like the way that Raven, even though it was all over the place, the cuts of it made it so funny that that's what made it come the editing. together. It was the editors that had the real talent. In for sure, end, for sure, right? yes. And so it's like that now, but with like very truncated, uh, small yeah. videos. Yeah, it's an interesting way to like have your TikTok persona is in the edit and in all, the, it's like everyone has such a unique thing. That's mm-hmm. what I love about it. Yeah. So true. let me ask this, people might be interested. I, I know I am. What opportunities does this social media, does your platform now, TikTok, allot you? Like, do you have an agent now? And if yeah. so, do they do they find you from that? And they uh, you audition for actual characters, for acting gigs, for char- for roles on TV and film. Uh, what's that like now? Like, do you feel like you have a leg up? What are you auditioning? Do you like auditioning? Do you hate auditioning? That was a lot yeah. of questions in one. <laughs> no, so I'm you answer them all now. No. <laughs> You're I very engaging. I, I was like, it. keep going. When I was she like, let's talks, do you it. have to listen. It's such a beautiful. I don't want to look away. Package. And there's a lot to look at. If yeah. I wanted to look away, I could, but I didn't. <laughs> what want are you to. saying? Our sets all over the place? <laughs> How dare you? What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean it's absolutely changed my life. Like I. Uh, can't even tell you like what it has done for me. I mean, I can and I will because this is a podcast. And <laughs> Fantastic! I, to, I love the but to stuff. cover all of it, it's crazy. I mean, my manager saw one of my TikToks and she kept DMing me and DMing me, and I was like, I don't want to sign with anyone unless they really want me because right. I had been auditioning for a while and jumping from agent to agent, yeah. not knowing who I was, like mm-hmm. just another one on the roster, and I can't blame them. Yes. Like, yes. they're trying to run a business, and I wasn't booking. I I understand. Mm-hmm. But then I met up with my manager now, and she's my age. Mm-hmm. And I said, you know, I know I'm young, and like, I know it seems like I don't know what I'm doing, but I promise I will be one of the hardest working people on your mm-hmm. roster. Like, I will get there. Mm-hmm. And then a week later, she called me and she's like, I want to sign you. And I wake up to a checklist from her every single morning at 6 30 a.m. That like, sounds horrible. This is what you do, <laughs> but it's amazing. Yeah, of course it is, of course. Like, she has never. 
like let me down. Like I trust her. I just have such a close connection with her. Yeah. Wonderful. And so TikTok has brought me her and mm -hmm. she's brought me so many opportunities and it's like fulfilled me in a way every single day. Like I'm learning how to run my business. Mm -hmm. I'm learning you, how to produce. I'm learning how to write. Yeah. yeah. And oh, so it's like, and, and even though that's improv in those skits, it seems like it's written in, in the best of ways. Thank you. It's thank so, you. so like well showcase written. her talent. Yeah. Yes, and I, yeah. I mean, for somebody who just loves Bravo and loves reality, whenever you do the, I just know exactly what you're doing. I mean, I'm definitely thank the you. audience for it. It's so, you're so funny. Yeah, thank you're finding you. your audience, which is like, I think the most important thing. But I so I don't watch reality and I love Amanda stuff. And like, I've literally gone down the rabbit hole mm -hmm. with her like, um, her Zodiac series. So that's what a, a lot of folks are doing right now, which is what the, the sure telltale sign of a successful content creator mm -hmm. is if they can do series of content that is their own. And we were just talking about this before we started filming, but it is a gray area. Like there's some oh, yeah. hate that some folks are getting. Um, there's some infighting now from, from established creators because they feel like their stuff is getting ripped off. And but, Oh, interesting. Yeah, wow. there's a little bit of that, but it's a gray area. It's a gray area and it's something my friends and I have talked about where like there truly is no original thought anymore. Right, like I was watching somebody else's video and she said this line that was very similar to one of mine. I don't think she's seen my video. I posted the next day, but it was in my drafts. Like it's this weird timeline of like, you could say something, I said it a week ago, but you posted it two days ago, who's first? Yeah, uh, observational you know I mean? comedy, you both observed the same thing and had yeah, a spin on it. Yeah, it's like, and it's, now listen, obviously if someone is ripping off your exact character, right. yes, it, that's rude, don't do it. Yeah. <laughs> but like, it's tough. Yes. Yeah. How do you get inspo for yours? Oh, I'm I'm a uh, um, not very good. Um, you're a You had us do one before. Okay, okay well, like okay. you're on it. Yeah. I I think that my best TikToks are the ones that are fun. That I'm fault like that I'm laughing. Like if I am laughing yes. while I'm filming them, that's when I. If know. you're having fun, it's like good to go. Then because right. you know yep. that that energy is gonna go out and people are gonna react to that. It's all they about know the people and viewers know. Hundred percent. Having fun or if you're stressed. You. Quit hitting me, Chris. Let's hitting all punch me right each now. other. In the booth. Ow. <laughs> it's it is it is about connectivity at, at the end of the day, and I think yeah. like we forget yeah. that as content creators, but like the best creators like Amanda are able to get that thread of improv plus virality and character work and like all that stuff. So that's why I appreciate her so much. What are you uh, watching or who do you follow? Who inspires you? Mm. That's such an interesting question. Mm. I really love Caitlin Riley. I also mm. really love Hello Teffy. <gasps> oh my God, I love her so much. She's so, she She's talks like, like girl talk. She just has an interesting perspective. And I, what I really love is like, niche creators right now who have found a way to build a business like girl boss town building this huge like portfolio off knowing pr and working mm -hmm. with the biggest brands in the world mm -hmm. like that couldn't happen without tiktok yeah what's that like working for all those brands do you feel a pressure oh to my god after be a certain actually brand? yeah so i worked with tlc the chinese theater and instagram last year it was a collab wow. and that was like my favorite thing of all time because i got to like direct this whole thing in the chinese theater mm -hmm. while i was doing it with instagram it was really sick yes but recently i have felt this pressure that i have put on myself this is going to sound really pick me like really annoying but obviously these brands are paying and i really want to sell their stuff yeah like if a brand is paying me of course this is jiggly if a brand is paying me or like i'm on a podcast like uh -huh. i want people to watch it and i want like to sell the stuff. So I would say that's how I feel the pressure right now. Mm -hmm. And yeah. brands aren't putting on, on so me. So it's a little I'm bit of like myself. imposter syndrome. I get that too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I get that too. Because, of course. And I think that comes from the child actor thing from mm -hmm. in me because it's like, oh, I'm not a booker. I'm not I'm not the one that's selling the products. I'm, you know, the affiliate codes aren't being used. But or, you did, you were brought on to Bell to sell the Broadway. That was how many years ago? I mean, both of us did it. And it was like, you know, when that's time goes so by. so both of you did that. <sighs> Like so You're random. Like, yeah, fuck it. yeah, how original are we? Yeah, <laughs> um, exactly. Here, we're the one asking you the questions. Um, but it is—it's a beautiful journey, and I think that we can we can we can say that we've been through it in different ways, mm -hmm. and it's so beautiful to see it. It, it, it not just shit on it like it isn't pick me like what 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 it's a marketplace like TikTok and, and totally and specifically I love that Instagram is coming back for those of you who are interested in social Instagram and it's is coming back. back. Like yep. I've noticed. My numbers were going up on Instagram like crazy, yep. and they were like dropping on, on TikTok. On TikTok, it's, it's horrible. So right now. weird. It's like if All I'm 
doing well on Instagram, I'm doing awful on TikTok. Like, let me ask you this. Do you guys ever, do you ever click on the part where you have to go to insights to look at the exact number of followers you are? She's doing it right now. I mean, we do it all the time. Do you? I imagine, I I don't know why I think of you guys as like getting so many followers, so much movement, so much traction, so many numbers going up, 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 that you don't have to go down No, but it's never enough. Never enough. (laughs) Never enough? It's blinding, you know what I mean? You get to that point where you're like, I really wanted to reach that. And then you're like, but I want more. I want more. And you're looking and you're looking, of course. And it's like a business at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like we are looking at our pages, seeing what is doing well and seeing what's not. And I still notice if I get a, and I'm not that, big like obviously like Hannah stocking with like 25 million followers mm-hmm. oh does I, Han- do you like Hannah stocking stuff I oh Hannah my Stocking's god hilarious she's sexy she's but so silly uh, I love that you're, why do you assume that I don't know who that is Wait, do you know who it is no do you know? I do not you would actually <laughs> She'll love you guys it. are like kindred spirits I yeah, feel like really? very high energy just cool girls oh. Hannah like if there's she's been hilarious. one person that has inspired me in this Space between you two girly pops <laughs> oh shut um, up <laughs> it's Hannah stocking I'm adopting her. Hannah stocking is she Jewish I don't think so. Just because Hannah, that I know, I just assume everyone's Jewish. <laughs> but but it's, it's a Hannah. good question. But maybe they are, though, because that makes sense. Yeah, not, not that it matters. I mean, <laughs> not, it does. I love Jews because I'm a Jew. <laughs> it does. I want everyone matter. to be Jewish like me. Uh, you act, I actually thought, I thought maybe you were a little Jap, I think like I a Jewish American totally, princess. I think I'm going to marry a Jewish man. I could Oh, so let's talk about dating in LA for yeah. a minute. Dating, yes. And I do kind of want to know as well, I want to know your dream job. Like, I really need you to be on the big screen, like, not just social yeah, media. I need like, you're an actress. I really feel like you're. Those videos you are so funny. I need you to do a sitcom or something. Yeah. Not yeah. Disney Channel sitcom, obviously. No. We're too old. She'd and be also. a hot stepmom on a Disney Channel. But like oh. on a, on a <laughs> I do that. Yeah, yeah. Bend and snap it on the Disney Channel. <laughs> pick it up. But like on a party's da- party down or on like I don't know something hot. Yeah, something I would say hot on my the dream screen. job is something like um, Miss Congeniality. Yeah. And then from there, I like start my own production company, like a Reese Witherspoon, yes. obviously not the book club route. Like she's tapped that, like do that and I'll do my thing. <laughs> yeah. Um, I and have to read? And, yeah. Yeah, I'm not going to read. I, I'm releasing some soon. Yay! Wait, why would you ask merch out? <laughs> so she's releasing merch. Okay, fantastic. So I we that's can a big promote deal. that. So where will they be able to buy that? I'm not sure yet. Okay. We're still figuring out the logistics. It's happening though. But yeah. It's Are you, do you do stand up? Would you do? I used to. Okay. I did stand up when I was like 21. Mm-hmm. Okay. And because I re- I wanted to get into all lanes of comedy to be like, okay, what do I want to do? Right. Are Sorry. you fixing your nips? <laughs> well, I guess I gotta, I gotta. Stand up. Have, have you seen the Chris Rock special, the Amy Schumer special? I have not seen Chris Rocks. My mom said it was amazing. It was amazing. And Amy Schumer's is amazing, her newest one. I heard. Which I don't know if it'll be. I like Matt Reif. Oh, I did a really shitty short film with him like five years ago. Yeah. And he was very, and so hot even back then. By the way, he also lives in Austin. Wait, no way. Yeah, so Austin, Texas. Uh, You know. Um, Austin, <laughs> yeah. Austin, Texas, Texas USA, uh-huh. um, is actually, mm. I swear to God, there's alcohol in this. Cause I I'm know you are, it. you I are. Need to, speaking you of, you need to drink, drink more. It's fantastic, yeah. ladies. I don't it's know. Pretty, it's too concentrated. It's pretty concentrated. It was, it was just really like, <laughs> just like Annalise when she's asking the questions. So Very Austin concentrated. is like, <laughs> hub, <laughs> Hannah Burner. Came there and she's Giggly Squad and I love her so much. Love her. People say we're basically sisters that we look like we could be. I totally see it. Oh, I, see I can it. see that. Yeah. yeah, two hot girls. I love her so much. She's my baby. I'm, I've also adopted her, but she's. A We've got a great You're family. Right. We've got we a have funny the ass family. family. Ever. Um, and she's and she's an auntie too. So I'm she's an a part too, of the yes. family. Love. That's as close as I'll get to children. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's an auntie. How you feel about children? So tell us about guys. You, you're dating. Wait, 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 Are you dating anyone? Matt Rife. Did you date Matt Rife? No, no, I didn't date Matt Rife, and I would totally. I think we had some DMs like here and then back in like 2018. You need to, but there was never a date. I My mom it, always I think guys said, hit on you all the time. They must hit what, on you. How all am I supposed to answer that question? Imagine if I'm, I'm sure like, they, they do. do. <laughs> I'm sure they do. I mean, you know, yeah, totally. <laughs> That's oh, so funny. God, That's God, so you know tired. what I've been doing recently. So I feel like I dated everyone in my early 20s. And if someone gave me intention, I was like, let's go. Right. Oh, God, I know. And I remember you bringing this up. On the vulnerable po- mm-hmm. on the vulnerable podcast, when you were like, if a man gave me attention, I would go with them. Yeah. And I'm really in this era of a man hit on me the other night, and I just didn't feel like extending the invite back, so I just like stared at him until he stopped. Mm-hmm. Good for you. And it he he didn't know what to do with it, so he just walked away. And I was like, I wish I realized I could do that earlier. Wow. I wish I realized I could just not respond or just stare at them and and not have to hold their hand. 
Totally. Wow. Yeah. That's amazing. You know? I just said in another That's interview good. that no is a complete sentence or yeah. silence is yeah. enough. It's yeah. golden. Really? Yeah. yeah and it, and it's like, oh, you know, like realizing the power that we have as women that we're not taught, you know, when yeah. we're younger. It's just like, wait, I have it in me mm -hmm. is really cool. Yeah, and you already you like yourself enough now. Yeah, you don't need it. Oh my God, it's else. so different. Yeah, I'm glad at 26 you already know all of that. That's wonderful. Yeah. Well, I went through like a really, I just wanted to figure out who I was because I was putting my worth in just like men. And I was just going from, it wasn't even relationship to relationship. Mm -hmm. It was situationship to situationship depending on them for my happiness. Wait, can you explain what a situation is? It's like when they <laughs> don't want to date you or you don't want to date so you're them. So you're just fucking. So yes, no, you're just hanging out every Friday night, meeting their friends, acting like you're in a relationship without uh, being in one. Okay. okay. It's awesome. very new age. Guys are very afraid to be in a relationship right now. A lot why? of my friends are dealing with that. Yeah, why? I don't know what it is. My theory is men are visual creatures and there's a lot, uh, a lot. to look at all the time. Oh, yeah. And I think men are like, I like you, but there's this and there's this, even though they'll never get Oh, them. that's so sad. That's mm -hmm. so scary. I, I also saw that like online, like when you go to women's profiles to what they have to choose from, it's like trash, trash, diet trash. And then like when you go to a woman's, or what is it? Who did I say? A man's. A man's. You go to a man's. You know, a man's, it's like gorgeous model, gorgeous model, gorgeous model. Yeah. It's like the inventory <clears throat> for them is like so much more. Well, yeah, it's not fair. Are, always been prettier <laughs> right like it's it's true the though it's form? like yeah we're fabulous yeah, yeah it's like god we're women like <laughs> of course they're gonna have a better time but i think just with this social media with this online stuff i think guys just aren't even getting out of the house do you know what i'm saying i think they're playing their video games even older guys i think yeah, yeah it's just getting lazier maybe not feeling their manhood because right. the lack of jobs the lack of I don't know. I don't know. It just seems like slim pickings. I have a lot of girlfriends who are having trouble finding a guy, like finding even a date, you know? I, I don't. It sucks. And you can only lower your expectations so much. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> totally. And I think now, like, guys don't have to do a lot to get a lot in return. Like, mm -hmm. even a guy will say to me, like, if I have a crush on a guy, he DMs me hi. I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> like, he DM me. No. And it's like, what am I talking about? Like, oh, <laughs> no, he should have to, like, chase me and ask me out to dinner. Yeah. Like, and that's on like, me. Like, too. Army Hammer. Yeah, he should have to eat me. <laughs> he should have to cut off my toe. I, mean, I, I want to be love bombed. Um, <laughs> we need to give Amanda her name. It is time okay. for a lightning round of questions. You no, want... I love this. I love this. I'm is so excited. You? you guys had great questions. I'm okay, excited. we're saying lightning round and it says rapid fire, but you don't have to answer in rapid I fire. I will. I will. I'll keep the energy up. I'll match it. She's got this. Okay. All right. Do you guys have this? It's sure. a shaky uh, voice. Because uh, it feels like you don't. Are you ready? <laughs> yes. Favorite body part? Oh, you know, I'm learning to love my stomach. That's a really shitty answer. I'm learning to love my stomach because I've That's always disliked it. Question. So I'm learning to That's love it. That's a great answer. Whenever I'm drunk, I look at it in the mirror and I'm like, Hey, Muffin Top, yeah. you look good. Yeah. I like it. Oh, no, I, 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 love well, it. I hope I can let a little of that sprinkle off on me, you know? Hell That's yeah. my problem area and I would love to love mine more. You We've know? got, it works. Exactly. It works. Who, who am I trying to impress? Yeah. Exactly. I, What's in your fridge? Oh, a lot of Air One. Uh, I'm sorry, I, I said it. You are Air One. Air Tell me what's your favorite thing to get at Air One. I love Air One. Um, my favorite thing to get at Air One is the ten dollar keto brownie or the <laughs> gluten free carrot cake. Ooh, no, it's Air One or Air One. Air One. And don't say it wrong. Okay, okay. <laughs> Air One, not Air One. Air One. Correct. Okay. My mom says like Air One, and I'm like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> like I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> yeah, that's annoying. It's, yeah. it's really annoying when your parent says things wrong. Wait, right? don't you have to have a membership to go to Air One? No, you don't. But okay. I have signed up for the membership. <laughs> Listen, you're talking to the wrong I girl. I'm going to all the bad answers. Yeah, and I know how much the membership is $200 a year. <laughs> and you have to spend $44 a week in order for that to make sense. So <laughs> she's spending, we know Amanda's spending at least $44 well, she's getting, a week. I don't have four kids. Brownies. She's getting at least four I don't four have brownies. kids or a house. So exactly. I, that's how I justify it. I love it. I love it with their, pre, their smoothies that they make. At least you know you're right. I, I get their um, egg salad sandwich. I love an egg salad. Uh, that, I haven't heard anyone go to Air One and get the egg salad sandwich, I an and egg I salad. like this that. This is how you know we're old. I had an egg salad sandwich. I had a tuna melt no. and a I had tuna melt egg, egg salad sandwich. On Raw. Yesterday, <laughs> I had an egg salad sandwich. It was fucking fantastic. I love a good egg salad I sandwich. I love a good egg I need to get in on that, too. Okay. All right. <laughs> like, I got to go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cannonball into the pool or dip a toe first? I'll always dip a toe with a glass of Sauvignon Blanc okay, in so my you, hand. Yeah, good. yeah. Um, you're classy, you're oh, classy. I love this one. How would your ex describe you? Oh yes. Oh, oh, my ex and I had the most beautiful relationship. Shut the fuck up. I would say <laughs> I'm not I even joking. You. I would say he would say that I'm very passionate. 
Ooh, oh, like okay. in bed or in like general? Passionate, oh, like oh, Gone Girl? Passion in bed. No, yeah, I, Gone Girl, kill him. Yeah, yeah. fake my murder. <laughs> no. <laughs> Put some blood on the walls. No. Uh, no, passionate, just like I love love and everything is everything or nothing is nothing. I love that. Yeah. I, okay, Um. Um. this is stupid. How do you usually, no, the one I was going to say is stupid. <laughs> How do you usually answer the phone? Hey, bitch. That's how we should answer it. Hey, big name, bitch. Hey, big name, bitch. Yeah, Done. Okay, Done. you morning person or night person? Uh, morning. I love my mornings. Okay, what gives you your big name, bitch energy? My Lexapro. No I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> totally. Let's talk about Lexapro. Yeah, which uh, real answer do you yes, want? Um, I, so I Amanda, could say Lexapro. 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 I could say Lexapro. Amanda, Lexapro. Exactly. Okay, okay, got it. <laughs> Amanda, Lexapro, <laughs> Mick, Mick, Lexapro. Amanda, McCann. Lexi. Pro McCants. Oh, I love Lexi it. Pro. I love that. I'm, I miss Lexi Pro. Yeah, <laughs> yes. Um, thank you, Amanda, for coming on. Yeah. Thank, thank you guys you so, so much, much for so having me. She's on TikTok. She's on YouTube still, right? I'm, gonna, I'm a whore. I'm why are everywhere. you not on Cameo? Get on Cameo. I was on Cameo. I'm so bad at it. Okay, me too. It's okay. It's hard. <laughs> that's so it. bad. Speaking of brands and wanting to do your best for them, that's how I feel about Cameo because these people, you know, they spend all their money to get you to say something. I, I put all of my my umph most into it. Mm. So you that's would, you're a great Cameo girl. Yeah. You're a movie star. I can't wait to see you on the movie Yeah, screen. we love you. You are. You are so you. funny. Home with me. I'll call you. We're going to have. Uh, Let's go to Austin. Yeah. Come to yes. Austin. Austin. Thanks, guys. Austin. Thank Austin. you. Thank you so much. <laughs> love you, Amanda. Love you. Love you. Thanks for hanging, you big name bitch. Now come back next Thursday so we can do it all again.